My name is Byron Foss. I'm one of the salesmen here at the Drake Group. And over the next few weeks, we're going to be doing a bit of a showcase on our trailers, features and benefits. Just trying to show you the whole range of Drake trailers and OFE trailers. Today we're featuring the Swing Wing. So we'll go through some of the features and benefits of that now. The 4 v 8 Swing Wing is typically known as a 100 tonner. The market's always referred to it that way because in WA you can pretty much get a 100 tonne payload on it. On the eastern states it's uh, probably more around about the high 60s to high 70s depending on which state you're in. Having said that, the trailer is rated still to 100 tonne. So if you're doing, if you're, you know, doing a site shift or moving something on a private road, yeah, put 100 tonne on it, loves it. Typically you'd order a swing wing or you'd buy a swing wing if you were getting loads in excess of 50 tonne. So quad and dollies handle that loads up to around 50 tonne. Anything over and above that, that's when you'd look at buying a swing wing. This particular one widens from 2.5 metres out to 4.3. We uh, also do other swing wings where they only close up to 2.7 metres and widen to 4.6. Just different configurations for different states. Uh, allowing maximum payloads and as well as that the 2.5 in New South Wales allows you to travel at night when empty. So we'll go through some of the things on the trailer. Obviously spare tyre carriers, uh, you know some people like to carry eight spares so we might have extra brackets up there. Standing up or laid flat, this one's obviously standing up. We've attached it to, we, oh, we've got a sliding skid plate on the trailer as well, something that's been standard now for some time. Typically you'd only have two or three kingpin positions. The sliding skid plate enables you to have eight positions. Pneumatic locked and unlocked of course. It's fitted to a hydraulic gooseneck. Hydraulic goosenecks are more common when you get to the bigger trailers. They basically allow you to you know, lift the front of the deck up and down. So there's about 300 mil of travel in that deck. 100 mil down, 200 mil up using the hydraulic gooseneck. Uh, hydraulic goosenecks, obviously, you'd want to go down, for example, if you need to get under a low bridge. Um, and the reason to go up, obviously, various reasons, including the terrain, or when you're jacking equipment off pedestals and things like that. Dump trucks, those sort of things. It's also got a drop bed frame. So in front of the first axle there, you can notice that it drops down. The deck height over the tyres on a swing wing is, is 950. And the drop bed will give you about an extra five or six inches of, you know, of lower deck height. So 950 at the back, around about 825 on the front. That's important because when you go to these bigger trailers, obviously the machines are starting to get bigger. Bigger machines normally means a higher machine. So to, if you can get the height of that machine down a little bit, you're winning. It's always a benefit. Customers have always said to us, hey, you can't have too many toolboxes too many tie downs. We listen and there's a thousand tie downs in this trailer. Tie down points are all rated at about nine tonne and if you can't find a tie down then sorry but there's something wrong you know Luke. If that many tie downs you'd be right. At the front here we got this uh, this ladder arrangement and these yellow poles that are stored in there they drop into the deck and enable three-point contact. Three-point contact is obviously important for certain customers but just want to see you have that if you're climbing up and down the deck. Like I said earlier, lots of toolboxes. We've got three toolboxes here on the outside. Plus when you widen the trailer out on the spine, you've got a big dunnage box for storage of timber and all that. That's pretty handy, especially with a hydraulic gooseneck trailer because you miss out on that gooseneck storage. So good to have the dunnage storage on the spine. This one here has also got our double acting suspension rams. It's been a really handy thing for a lot of our customers. I wouldn't say it's become standard yet, but it's certainly gaining in popularity. I went through the, uh, the double acting suspension cylinders on a video back in 2020. Check that one out when you get time. It talks more about the operation and the benefits there. Again, more storage. You know, nice big toolbox in between axles two and three. Like I said, we listen. You want more toolboxes, we give them to you. This one's showing the ramps in the prop position. Typically, obviously, your ramps are straight up. We also can lock them at a 60, a 45, and then a laid flat. Laid flat ramp props, probably good for something like a switch room, and obviously laid back, you know, things like scrapers, things like that, that you can, by propping them, you take the load off the ramp ram. So that's the whole benefit of ramp props. 
They come standard with light boards. Obviously, if you're propping the ramps, you still need to be safe. You still need to have your legal lights, rego plate position, and all your, all your necessary lights. All of our swing wings come standard with a radio remote control for widening, locks, suspension. You can put the gooseneck on there if you want, all to make a bit life a bit easier for the operator. If you lose the radio remote control though, we've still got all our manual controls up here. So, you know, you can always get the job done even if you don't have your radio remote control. We offer many different power pack solutions. This one's fitted with a Kubota 7 horsepower diesel power pack. We also offer Yanma, Honda Petrol, anything you want really. Storage of the ramp props. We didn't, you didn't see the ramp props there, but storage of them goes here underneath the toolboxes. So accessible whenever you need them, always with the trailer. As you can also see, we've got extra provisions for spare tyres on the deck. So if you do need to pull the tyres, from the tyre carriers, because of uh, you know a crusher or a screen or something protruding way over the neck, you can tie the tyres down to the deck and make sure you've got them with you, you know, in case you need it. An almost standard feature on swing wings is an auto greaser. This one's fitted with a alum lube auto greaser. Comes with a five-year warranty, which is pretty impressive. Obviously, we're happy to fit other brands of greaser as well. So talk to us about auto greasers on your swing wing. A lot of grease nipples on this trailer, suspension, etc. So it's always good to keep the grease up to that to give you the best possible life out of your suspension pins and bushes. So yeah, almost a standard option. When you buy an Australian made trailer from the Drake Group, know that not only are you supporting the 300 odd workers we have on site here, but the 230 suppliers and their staff that are all contributing to the Australian economy and that can only be a good thing. So that concludes our walk around of the Drake Swing Wing, a trailer we're very proud of. We made our first one back in 1969. Still a very popular trailer, still going strong and something we're very proud of. So I hope you got something out of it. Give us a call if you'd like to talk about anything, you know, approximate payloads you can achieve. Um, you know, prices, specs, all those things, we're always happy to help. Thanks very much, hope you got something out of it. Cheers.